Hi. During this video, I will try to explain and somewhat analyze a different kind of butterfly style. Um, we've been working on it over the last year and a half, and we call it the gliding butterfly. Swimmer Ida Markovarga from the Swedish national team is instead of using two kicks per cycle as you do in the regular butterfly, she's only using one. This allows her to glide through each and every stroke and save up a lot of energy. We primarily use this butterfly style for the 200 butterfly, but we also use it for the 200 and the 400 IM. Yeah, I discovered my butterfly in practice when I was tired and I, I just started to do one kick butterfly because I was tired and then it, it, I swam on the same time, so I just, I just continued. This clip gives you an idea of what the gliding butterfly looks like. You can see the one kick per cycle in her swimming. The gliding butterfly has improved a lot as well during practice. As of before, Ida was swimming 1,000 meters, 1,500 meters butterfly with two kick per cycle during a regular butterfly aerobic set and she was somewhat struggling. Today she's doing 2,500, 3,000 meters without any problem when she uses her gliding one, the one kick per cycle butterfly style. This allows her to practice more butterfly than she's ever done before. The gliding butterfly has been a significant factor of her involving in the 200 butterfly. I develop my butterfly with, I swim with paddles and I, I go to the gym and I want to be stronger to make my my stroke longer each time so I can glide longer and, and swim faster that way. For the 200 butterfly we've been experimenting back and forth in competitions. It has been starting off with the 50 meters regular butterfly, two kick per cycle, finishing off with the 150 meters gliding butterfly, one kick per cycle. We've been doing it reverse. She starts off with 150 meters gliding butterfly, one kick per cycle, finishing off the race with the 50 meters regular butterfly, two kicks per cycle. This is because the regular butterfly is still faster than the gliding one. But the solution has come on its own. During practice, Ida has evolved her gliding butterfly a lot. She is now almost as fast in her gliding one as she is in her regular one. I can swim much longer in a, in a higher speed with a gliding butterfly than I can with a two kick butterfly. So if I swim the two kick butterfly, maybe I can go 100 meter in that speed, but in the gliding one, I can go 200 meters. This slide perfectly shows Ida's progression in the 200 meter butterfly. In 2011, she finished off 16th at the World Championships in Shanghai. With the gliding butterfly, Ida allows herself to glide through each and every stroke and save up a lot of energy. She can maintain almost the same speed as she does during her regular butterfly. In an Olympic-sized pool, she can save up to maybe 6 to 8 strokes per length, which is pretty amazing. Her regular butterfly is still faster but it's a lot more energy consuming.
negative and the frustrated thing in the gliding butterfly is is when you do 25s or 50s in practice you are very uh, very slow compared to the other uh, swimmers but if you swim the 100 and the 200 butterfly and you do lots of sets you will uh, see that you are much more stronger than the others and you can continue much more and longer.